Hey guys, Benny here. Welcome back to another RuneScape video. Today, uh, we're playing a bit of old school, and uh, yeah, terrible, terrible. But it's classic, and I like it, so I'm playing a bit of it. Um, pretty standard stats, uh, not the highest ever, but I don't really care about that. It's uh, I just play it for fun. So as you can see, I've got 37 fletching and 43 wood cutting. Um, basically, um, I just cut willow trees and then obviously fletch them. Um, I think I've only just been able to actually fletch willow shorebows. Um, so I'm going to go have a look at my bank. I believe I, f I uh, was cutting quite a few willow trees and then I flogged them. Because I believe I've got quite a little bit of money in my bank, but uh, we'll have to go check that. So we'll just go and see now. Because, uh, I don't know, everything seems to be worth a lot on this or... Either or everything's so not as inflated as um, RS3. So, and anyway, I'm off the top of my bank pin, I'll be back. There we are. It's a pretty standard bank. Um, I've got loads of herbs. No idea what they are because I've not actually done the quest for herb lore itself. Um, I've got a Christmas cracker, blue pie. Uh, I've got 16k coins. Uh, that's pretty standard stuff. I believe I was getting up my mage. Um, and I was training. I was AFK and I was literally just doing airstrike, uh, wind strike at. Um, that uh, mage of Zamorak, uh, yeah, mage of Zamorak at um, Varok. Yep, and uh, basically what happened was um, I got a random event and it teleported me away. So I thought, screw it, I'll just go do a bit of um, wood cutting. And that's what I've been doing. So as you can see, I've got some willow shorebows there. I'm going to do a bit of that. Um, I always liked fletching on old school. I always liked wood cutting on old school. I say old school, I say the old style of things. First thing I ever did and got into was uh, wood cutting. Um, in Lumbridge, there's actually two willow trees. Um, I used to go there a lot on my uh, normal account. Um, it's currently like on our RS3. Um, but on um, RS3, they actually got rid of that for some reason, and I was like, "Oh no!" But that was that was a good three, four, five years ago now. I think so. That's a shame about that. But oh well, we're still here now, playing a bit of RuneScape, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's nice they've got all, out the old um, school servers, the old look of things, but they're actually bringing out new updates for it because obviously um, without um, without that, it'd be pretty much, I don't know, you, you got to say that if they didn't bring out updates for it, it'd just become dead content in the end because um, there'd be no updates, people would be getting bored, and I'm glad they've actually got a team dedicated and uh, it's basically run by the players. It's just a shame about so many bots about and you can kind of tell. Most of these are probably bots down here now, but... Uh, you can't really do anything about that, but anyway, um, yeah, he's a bot there. You can tell just by because he's dropping all the willow logs. Um, I don't know why you drop the willow logs because they're actually quite a decent amount of money, or you could use them for fire making and fletching. Um, I've just got a bird's nest, which is top quality. I believe I'm not entirely sure. I don't think crust bird's nests go for that much on this. I'm not entirely sure if you can use them. I believe you can use them for. Summoning, I'm not entirely sure. I know it's for Sara Brews, but I'm not sure if Sara Brews are out in this game. They yeah, they are. They might be in an update. So they'll be quite expensive. So they'll be quite expensive. Yeah, down here, look, it's like one of the top items. So it's definitely a good thing. A good thing for me to do eventually, if I ever get my combat level up, would be, do, uh, would be to do Fremenic Trials and then do uh, Fremenic Isles, I believe. Um, no, Kingdom of Miscellanea. And then I will be able to get quite a decent amount of bird's nest which is actually a decent amount of profit and I can imagine you're making a ton of profit just from the crushed bird's nests, the herbs and um, all that other jazz I'm mainly set on maples um, if you guys have already seen my miscellaneous on RS3 uh, maples and herbs, mainly because herbs are going up at the moment on RS3, that's definitely why I've done that um, so that's quality so let's have a look what ring we get golden ring, I believe golden rings might sell for things as well I'm not entirely sure about that, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, so this is pretty much all I do on RS3 is just do the odd wood cut. I've been cooking. Every time I fish, I always cook the food that I gain from fishing. I don't either see the point of dropping it or just not banking it. And I mean, I don't really want to sell the raw food at that level because you probably wouldn't make a, that much of a profit anyway. So I just thought to myself, may as well cook it, may as well get those levels um, gained. As you can see, my prayer isn't that high. I really can't be bothered. Um, to um, pick up all the bones of the enemies I kill. That's why I love the Bone Crusher on RS3. You get that little bit of prayer XP and um, it's definitely worthwhile in the end. As you can see, I've not done any room crafting. I've not done the quest for that. not done any range. I've not really got the time to do that. Uh, all these skills, not done farming, not done slay. I've not really done quite a bit on RS3, but um, 
I don't know, it'd be cool, I'm not sure if they've done this, but it'd be cool if they could have a separate section, um, they tell you the playtime on RS3, and it'd be cool if it told you the playtime on um, old school as well, that'd be something that they could implement if it's not already implemented, but I've not seen it around, so that's definitely an update that could be really good in the future. Um, and that's pretty much it, that's pretty much uh, 351 total level, and I'm 2k away from 44 uh, wool cutting. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I am going to get my attack up to 40 and then um, obviously uh, get a rune hatchet just because it's a lot faster and a lot easier um, you could say I could do it for the dragon hatchet um, but or dragon axe because they're not called hatchets in this game um, but that would be a lot of effort and I don't really come on this that, that often I just thought I'd make a video with you guys seeing that I am on here so and talk about current stats and maybe future goals for old school what would be nice as well is if I could log in um, to my RS3 and play old school at the same time on the same account. Unfortunately, you can't do that. You have to buy a membership for another account and then play it vice versa that way. Um, but that's not that's something that I don't want to do um, due to lack of money and it costs it's quite a lot of money now just for the current membership. So yeah, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed the video and if you if you have, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.